hey guys how you guys all doing so i haven't been to church since i came to the uk and um i've tried i've, I've tried to find a church um close to me because i don't want to take any bus to any church so this is me um this is about past past three yeah i was working on my, on my computer and earlier in the day i think either yesterday or earlier in the day i checked to find out what church is closest to me yeah i also did a week before and i was like okay maybe i'll go in the morning i thought church was going to be in the morning and then when i googled again to check about the church i found out that yeah they hold evening services from four to six so this is me heading to grand paper um to do service for the first time in in, in the uk i don't know how it's going to be i do want to go to catholic church to help those catholic people you know like because i feel like they might start doing masses and doing things i might not really understand and it might not really help me or pay me that much so i'd rather go to a church i think that is pentecostal so let me go and prepare this is me i'm going to go and prepare i'll see you guys in a bit so hey guys <laughs> i'm done i'm set for church 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 is at four what time is it right now okay yeah so i still have time to record a bit before i go <laughs> Right, my makeup <laughs> i'm not really a makeup person like that ever since after school i've started you know focusing on doing a lot of things i could just wake up in the morning throw up something on my on my body and off i go without makeup but when i came to the uk guys i decided to be doing makeup because i've seen some people are looking very you know bang 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 i'm like me ah, ah. i'm not the one that will not be dolly mm -mm 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 -mm. i'm not going to do myself so these days when i want to go out I try to wear makeup, not all the time. My hair is quite old because I brought it from Nigeria. I'm not planning to lose it soon. <laughs> so yeah, but I've tried to part my hair well. Um, so that I look like a church girl. Mm -hmm. I'm now set, guys. <laughs> and here's what I have to say about going to church here in the UK. So, you know, I'm just about, not yet two months in the UK. I'm like... A month and three weeks in the in the in the UK so far, and in all sincerity, guys, if you ask me, if you are staying here, you might not be going to church. And I actually had suspected that from the beginning when I just moved in, and from the speculations that I hear from other people who have been staying here long before now. You know, they say things like, "Ah, where is the time to go to church?" Some of them might attend church online. Some of them actually are active in church. And those people who are active in church are people who have done that over the years. And so not being active is going to not, it's not going to feel right. So they just have to find a way to be active. I'm that kind of a person. I used to be a very active church goer. I am still even that. And I'm proud of it. However, you can call me a church goer, fine. But I love to go to church. I love the, um, the relationships that are formed in church because I grew up in church. I was breastfed in church. Everything about me, I was breastfed the Bible. In all fairness to my parents and the people I grew up around, right? So most times, even when I was in Lagos, not going to church is like, I've done something wrong. It's not a bad thing entirely. It's not like, oh, I'm trying to pick the routines and all. But I do enjoy my, my time in church. Church is sort of like um, a safe space for me especially if i'm attending the right church in terms of preaching in terms of the worship in terms of the connection so i really enjoy church activities because it can it, it's kind of um not like um a way to validate anything but for me it's it's enjoyable it's just like for me the things that other people enjoy just like going to a club people enjoy it a lot i i've been to the, to the club a lot of times maybe like in my life let's say all together like five times but if i want to compare that i hear a lot of people say oh my god i enjoy myself in the club below oh my god it was fun but in all sincerity i don't have as much fun i don't even see going to club as fun really and i do enjoy my time in church more than i enjoy going to club i enjoy any other thing it's especially the worship you know worship just gives you a kind of um or just makes you sit back there and imagine you know how someone out there is just putting the things in place that we see in life all of us just came and met those things and so you don't want to believe that there's someone that's not doing that there's someone that's up there doing that that's the gospel truth so it's just that that you know imagination for me 
I love to worship, especially songs that connect with me. I don't know what this church would look like. <laughs> I, I don't really know. I pray, guys, wish me well. I really pray and hope that this church I'm going to is the kind of church I love. Um, you are going to try to, you know, um, connect with me. For me, what really keeps me in a church is the worship and most importantly, the word. I love to connect with the word. If you're not teaching the word that is connecting with my spirit, I might not be there for so long. Yes, so you can be doing all you're doing, but make sure that you get the worship right and the church and the, and, and the word right. So this is me in the UK, all dressed up and set for my first um, church activity. Uh, I'll let you guys know how it went. And when I'm back, if I had fun or if I'll be attending the church or not, I'll let you guys know. But I pray that I get to be, you know, frequent in the church, uh, maybe once, once or and twice or, or once a week, maybe depending. And also eventually if I'm free, I can attend every Sunday, every other Sunday, as long as I, am, I, have, I have connected. I'll let you guys know how it's going to be so because i'm a bit nervous because anytime i want to try something new i'm always a little bit nervous so yeah that's why my voice is like that and i am panting right guys so if you're planning to come to the uk and you are someone that is active in church don't believe what they are saying <laughs> where you can find a church and connect with however if you don't you may not be able to connect you can also try to attend online in all sincerity i've not attended since i came i've not attended any church both online and offline i've just been there pressing phone on sundays so the spirit of my father has you know allowed me to sleep with people <laughs> that's woken me up i say hey daughter it's time to go to church <laughs> so i'm excited about it i'm happy that i'm sharing this with you guys don't ever come to the uk and not go to church find the church connect have fun you know make sure that you're connected with other people because church is supposed to be like a safe space and you should experience that so that you can have an enhanced mental health there's no i'm going to talk without bringing in your mental health because because you guys already know i'm a mental health um, conversationist <laughs> i like to talk about mental health because um that is for me one of the things i believe that abba um gifted the world to bring them back to him because god is so interested in, in our mental health i don't want to start preaching no that's not what this video is about thank you guys for watching so if you're new here if you're my new subscriber please click the like button right now and also click the share button mm, you guys don't share my videos if you don't share my videos there's no how other people if you don't like and connect and engage with my videos there's no how other people are going to see that i'm giving valuable content some of you come to me and like oh my god i love your videos oh my god but you're not sharing it you're not liking you're not connecting how 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 is this channel going to grow if you don't like and share and connect yeah so drop me a comment <laughs> don't mind me guys but hey drop me a comment um click on the link in the description to lead you to anything that i, I said there yeah <laughs> and please stay tuned i'm going to be sharing a lot of my journey uh, um in the uk i hope i find time and the encouragement and the motivation i'll find it wherever it is i'll look for it I'll come through and show up for you for every time. So thank you for watching. I'll keep you updated. So this is me heading out, guys. <laughs> okay. Let's see what it will look like. Uh, I have to use go back to my map because I don't know where I'm going to. It's not so cold to be lucky me. So hey, I'm, I'm doing all right. So yeah. Let me go back to my bag. Guys, Google map will not shame me. <laughs> I'm almost late for church. But I'm going to meet up, Sha. Sha's still going to meet up. Google map will not make you miss through this country. <laughs> and then any small thing. I'm not feeling too cold, but any small thing. I'm tearing because of the breeze in my eye and all. But I'm alright. I'm okay. I think that's the street. <laughs> I think this is the street, then. The map is saying I should take. I saw it earlier, but I'm not sure. Am I just going? It looks like it's a dead end. But let's go in. <laughs> Guys, it's not it all. <laughs> Slide left to stay on Gloucester Road. 
that's what I'm doing right now. So it's not it. Let me just um, try and see if it's on this other side. I'm not still there yet, guys. I hope I'm on, I'm on the right track. The dog is coming. Let me show you guys. <laughs> I'm not turning to the other side. Let me see. There you go. <laughs> I'm walking side by side with it. <laughs> Finally, guys, I think I got it. <laughs> ah, well, today I don't, I don't enter like three different wrong roads. <laughs> yeah, so I think I got it. Let's see if I'm right. Let me check the map. You guys are seeing no entry. My map is saying turn left. Okay, so let me just see looks. This is what the premises looks like. Uh, I don't know. I hope I'm on the right track. Okay. Yippee, guys. I'm on the right track. I just saw the, uh, the signage of the church. I'm happy. I'm happy. See you guys soon. <laughs> Let me go to church. I'm happy. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I found my church. It's called Grace Church. It's in church now. Okay, so I don't know my way in. <sighs> but I'll find it. I guess this is the way in. Okay. Push to open. Okay. Your destination is on the right. Uh, thank you, map. Oh. I'm struggling to open this door. <laughs> village girl like me. Guys, I am a village girl. Press button to open. The door has opened. I've been pushing doors since. Here's the church. I'm here, guys. Yeah, it's good to be here. It's being kind of both behind the scenes, doing bits and jobs, or whether you are a parent whose kids have benefited from. This is Psalm 73. Truly God is good to Israel. Spiritual man, and he spends half the psalm saying how much better many unbelievers have it than believers. They're well dressed, well fed. They're not in trouble as others are, verse 5, not stricken like the rest of mankind. So guys, I'm back home. It took me just um, about five minutes, roughly five minutes. <sighs> so, hey guys. <laughs> oh, I'm back. Be ready for gist. Now get to gist it. Let me remove this because it's going to be a little bit um, hot in here. <laughs> Outside was pretty cold here, yeah? but I'm fine now. Usually when I'm out, when one's breeze starts touching my eyes, I start tearing. But when once I'm inside, I feel like I'm in Nigeria. So let me gist you guys how and what I think. Okay. Um, quite a good experience for me. Um, because first of all, I didn't really, really want like a Nigerian church. However, I wanted a church where they can clap, sing, you know, would dance if possible. I wasn't expecting like a church where they'll be screaming, you know, but I just wanted a church where there'll be intense worship, you know, just spending time worshiping, not like the Catholic structure where you just, <laughs> where you just sing him, read, read prayers and all of that. I don't have a problem with all of it. Even as a then, even as a dad, you know that Catholic churches in Nigeria, in Nigeria don't even do that, right? But the reason why I went to this church was because I felt like it was a Pentecostal church, but I think they have a uh, an orthodox pattern. It was a very good experience. All the church members were very nice. All of them were just smiling. Hi, 
hello i'm the only black person inside our place you guys trust me <laughs> sorry guys my nose is getting messy but hey i'm going to be all right but you guys trust me i don't i don't know <laughs> how not to connect with people it doesn't matter whether they're black black red blue so i was just myself i looked at everybody at first they first looked at me like this person how did you get here yeah, you know that kind of stuff but hey they received me the assistant pastor i think they are they are outsourcing for a pastor or something they're trying to get a new pastor but the assistant pastor is the one who preached and like you would see in the vi like you've seen in the video i just shared right now um today was their communion i took the communion shop because you know wherever it is i go to i i you know feel like i'm in the presence of god and god's presence is everywhere so i enjoyed the communion i enjoyed i thoroughly enjoyed the message even though everything about the church is scripted it's like kende kende everything is un orderly apart from the fact that the kids were just everywhere i loved like the, that kids were just running up and in nigeria they'll be trying to catch them hey come back here <laughs> You see, you see, you see a mother running after, and then when when a child starts crying, everybody will not be turning to looking at the mother. This one, nobody said anybody. The child can fall that cry. Oh, you know, church was still going on, right? And I love that people were connected to the activities that was going on in church, apart um, beyond the fact that oh, children were just being children, right? They were throwing their tantrums, laughing, making fun, using their Batman clothes, and all of that. Yeah, don't get me wrong. There was a time where the kids later on went to their side you know, to get, to receive teaching. And there was a time where adults received their own teaching and all. So I had a good time. <laughs> I experienced uh, something different. I sang along. Um, one of the things I really loved about the message today was the, re the, the rhetorical question that came with the message. So when the assistant pastor started preaching, he said something like, um, is it really worth it to be a Christian? Because today's scripture was taken from Psalm 73. And you know, you know, David with his writing and all, sometimes you'd be wondering what really happened that he wrote that kind of intense writing. So, um, David talks about his struggles and all of that. And even in the midst of it, he was very careful. And this is one of the things the, the, the preacher pointed out was that in the midst of it, he was very careful not to um, lead the children of Israel astray in terms of changing their faith in God because he at the time was actually doubting from his writing. You could tell that they were doubt because he was going through a lot. That's why the preacher today said, um, is it really worth being a Christian when you see that, oh, as a young person, you had kept yourself until you became married and you are still struggling in life compared to your other folks who did not keep themselves um they are married they have kids they are doing well they seem to be doing well for themselves you know um is it really worth it to keep yourself for god or to you know be sacrificial live a life that pleases god give give up the things that you you don't need look out for other people be christ-like you know all those you know um, Christi Christian way of life that we know that to be is it really worth it after all and this was the psalmist in that same uh, situation but he was not literally spelling it out but if you could read through the lines in, in Psalm 73 you, you can tell that he was actually pouring out his heart but one of the things that um, the preacher pointed out was that he did not outrightly give out give up or cause the children of Israel to testify against God and all of that and so for us me personally what I learned was that you know um regardless of whatever it is that we feel that we are going through as christians right or whatever it is wherever it is we are currently as christians this was actually really profound for me we have god and having god i know that it might sound to you like oh you've come again with your christian line but having god for me is one of the biggest and greatest thing ever because one way or the other we don't really need to need god if we don't you know accept and reach out to god do you understand what i'm saying so i don't i don't i don't see it as oh you can just go and say no i'm not gonna so one way or the other i believe that um we you know having god in our lives is sort of like a privilege and one way or the other he will come through and this is not me being aspire to aspire or this is not me trying to be a, a pastor but over the years consistently i've seen god come through for me in very 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 dark weppy 
situations where I felt like I was lost and God pulled me through. And I could tell for a fact that it was God that did it because there was nothing, there was nobody coming for me in those situations. There was, there was no way I was going to make out and make it out, you know, well. So for me, I've had that over the years and I've had that to hold on to. And I keep telling people, you have to experience God for yourself. You have to know God for yourself. You have to know God. You have to have experience him so, so that it doesn't look like what somebody's telling you, you know. So it's not like um, I'm saying that I am perfect or all of that. I'm just saying that for me, I would rather stay in the kingdom. I would rather stay in the house. I would rather stay with the father because I feel safe here. Yeah? In spite of whatever it is that will happen, I still believe that God has me in mind. He, I might make all the mistakes, the odds may be against me. I still, somewhere at the back of my mind, know that this is what this is my safe space, and that is it. So that's why I found today's service quite profound. They tried to teach, he was reading from the script, but it was nice actually because I could hear what he was saying. And guys, enough of my story. <laughs> I was waiting for offering time. I thought I really planned. I wanted to carry. I had one five pounds in my bag, bag that one of my colleagues in school dashed me. I was like, okay, when I go to church, I'm going to give that five pounds. I said, ah, I have small money in my account. When the time for church, I'll transfer maybe one pound, you know, because I'm a student. And I'm guys, I'm being sincere now. So I was like, okay, I'll transfer one pound when I get to church. So now, church now finished. Okay. We are not going out to go and eat. They say we should come and go and eat. Who is the one that paid for the cake? The cake was very nice. Oh my god. I had banana. Oh, so no, what I had was bread, but bread, but it tasted like cake. Banana bread. It was very nice. Oh my god. I wanted to have everything, but it was it was really nice. And I said, all of them after service, they now gathered around me trying to ask questions. We chatted. I was trying to psych them up because I wanted somebody to come and take me, take picture of me so that I'll come and post it. <laughs> But well, we shall finish time. When I, when I say ahead, they say, oh, come on, have a drink, take coffee, take um, take um, grape juice or something. And then the next thing, we're not seeing cake. We're not it. No offering. No tight. These people are lying to us. Mm? How, are going to, how are we going to prosper? They said that we should be giving <laughs> our tight. How are we going to prosper if we don't give? How? So, but uh, however, when on the decks where we were taking meals, there was um, someone who was going on a marathon who, who snapped a picture of him going on a marathon and asked us to scan a barcode to donate for to assist him to go on a marathon, something like that. But how is that still related to church? I sure don't know. Me, I didn't I, I did shut up because they don't say anybody should do anything. <laughs> but why should they not give off the church at night? You know? Yeah, that was how it was today, guys. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my vlog. I hope you enjoyed my new experience here in the UK going to um church. Um is there something else I wanted to talk to you guys about? Um I think it was the communion. Communion was quite the same with what we do here in there in Nigeria. It was the same. Um what else? Uh literally everything was just quite different but just the communion was the same then the hymn I, I tried to sing along i knew one of the hymn but i, I sang along because of course I, I, I was free and i enjoyed it so if you're watching this and you're in the uk you don't have to go to a, a nigerian church you don't have to really me i feel like um it, it, I, I feel like any church is, is a church like as long as they're preaching the word of god and the word of god is clear and you understand it and you can resonate with your with it in your spirit man you're good to go that's the way i say but if you are stuck with a nigerian church then you can find one and connect me i don't want to start going to city center to attend church i like this church and now let me answer the big question would i be going to this church let me say this, guys. It's 50-50. I'm not sure. Because they're not dancing and worshipping. They took the um, word box. Yeah, I want, I, want, I really liked and enjoyed their word session. Yeah. But they're not worshipping. There's no, like, intense worship where we just raise our hands to heaven. Father, we worship you. 
the unchangeable just you know that connection i just love i don't know call it what i am used to but i love it i'm yearning for it i didn't get it i even had to ask them people don't used to dance in this church people don't, it's not even the dancing it's the worship that is i said for me you know just instrumental you know um uh, magic that happens when worship is being on you guys know what i'm talking about guys so i don't know if i'm going to go back but any for me right now i feel like anytime i'm around on something like this i would go in the in the evening as long as i am around i would go and you know fellowship with them create a kind of connection um it's not like i'm going to make it my permanent i don't know yet really i've not decided in all sincerity um the lady was like oh since you're here you could try and do something different and did i tell you <laughs> i don't think we i am the only black person in that church <laughs> so i don't know how i'm going to talk sharp well, everything is scripted sharp so maybe they'll script everything for me and i'll get to do it i don't know how it's going to play out but for now i'm glad i went to church let me go and tell my mother that i went to church she has been the story because <laughs> I put to go and call her now. Mommy, I went to church. <laughs> and I loved it. I do I did I did like I wrote lots of notes. They're in my phone out. I showed you and I'm using the phone to do recording. I hope you had so much fun listening to this. I hope you had so much fun watching my vlog. I know it's a vlog, but I'm gonna just talk about my book launch coming up soon. Mm -hmm. So I'm launching a book. On the 11th of April, it's called Like Mother, Like Child. And I'm going to use this time to invite you. Um, I don't know if I'm going to drop a link in the description, but we've not created a link for registration yet. My, myself and, and my team have not created a link for registration yet. Um, but I'm just sharing with you. In the coming weeks, I'm definitely going to do a video regarding it. And I'm going to share the, share the link. Look out for it. And register it's going to be the launch is going to be virtually so you can join wherever you are in the world and you can be a part of the launch it is a book where i write about how mothers can utilize mothers and parents can utilize their mind to have an improved parental experience so i'm going i'm in that book i go through the different processes of motherhood uh, miscarriage still the experience of miscarriage still birth postpartum journey pregnancy and um, preconception you know different experiences and how they can tweak their mind for that particular experience for an improved mental experience that's just what that book is that book is about and it is a must read me as the writer of that book when i reread the book for sending others like oh my god did I actually write this? I learned from myself a lot, by the way. But I want to encourage you to go look out for it and watch out for the next, maybe next video or whenever it is I'm going to share about it and for registration. Yeah. So it's been my time here. If you're not subscribed to my channel, it's a good time to click and subscribe now. If you're new here, um, how we do it here, you like, right? After liking, you comment. After commenting, you share. So, please, if you don't share this video, hmm, I'm not going to have more people come in and say, oh, this video is, val is valuable. What happens when you share is YouTube says, oh, this is valuable. So, let's show, it sh let's show it to more people. I want more people to get inspired by what I do. I want more people to connect with me, um, book therapy with us, you know, have an, an improved experience. I know, th I know this was a vlogging experience right now, but hey, I'm sorry. My lecturer said that we should not be pointing to our audience <laughs> when we're presenting. <laughs> I didn't mean to point. So, sorry guys. <laughs> yeah, so this might, it's been my time here. I'll see you on the next. Bye. Yeah.